Google announced this really cool feature under their Notebook LM product. And it's so good that it's now trending here on X. I don't think I've ever seen Notebook LM trending. Actually, what you can do with it is you can upload documents to it. This is what Notebook LM is all about. And you can interact with documents and so on. But they added this new feature recently that can summarize using human voices. Basically, it generates a conversation around documents that you may have lying around. So let's say you would have something like a paper. It can generate a sort of like podcast for that paper to humans conversing with each other and having a good conversation about that particular message. Method, introducing that paper and it's so much fun i think this is a really cool application of ai and what we'll do in this video is we're gonna go through what this notebook lm is about and why are people so excited about this this one's saying mind blown by the realism of podcast generated by notebook lm so you can literally give it papers and it summarize things in a podcast format uh, we're also going to test it ourselves before going forward i'm very excited to introduce our tier.ai academy this is the first set of courses that we're releasing. We're releasing Introduction to Prompt Engineering and Advanced Prompt Engineering as part of our course catalog. And there's a bunch of other courses coming soon. We have Introduction to AI Agents, Introduction to RAG, Building AI Apps with Cursor. That's another course that I'm excited about to introduce. And we also have a community, so you can check it out. I'll share a link in the description. Also, a bunch of free courses that are coming. One of those free courses that I'm working on is building applications with Llama 3.1. That's another exciting course that I'm releasing very soon. All right, so now let's get into the Notebook LM. Notice it's an experimental mode. How they're advertising this is it's your personalized AI research assistant. Note that, AI research assistant. This is a term we have often mentioned a lot in our social channels and here on YouTube as well and it's powered by their most capable Gemini 1.5 Pro model. So this is a Google product. And what they say here, you can collaborate with virtual research assistant. You can upload documents. You can summarize documents. You can interact with them in a chat interface. And you can also now, which is very new, you can generate even podcasts out of these documents that you're uploading. That's quite amazing. So this is the homepage. I was already starting to use it a bit. And it's really cool to see these type of new tools, especially like research assistants, which could be quite useful in our day-to-day -day lives, especially for me as a researcher. I think this has a lot of application, uh, but you can use it for understanding docs. You can use it for understanding any documents that you have around. If you're a coder, you can import documentation and interact with that documentation as well. You can use it for pretty much anything that requires understanding of these documents. And in the end, you're using Gemini 1.5 Pro, so those capabilities are available here in Notebook LM. So you can start a new notebook here. There are some example notebooks at the bottom here just to get an idea of what it is. I want to show you here an um, interesting example of how I plan to use something like this. So I'm going to start a new notebook. So you can see here, it says that you can upload marketing plans, course reading, if you're a student, research notes, meetings, transcripts, sales documents, etc. Once you're doing some type of research, this will be something that's useful for you. You can upload your documents here, PDF text and markdown files are supported. You can also upload from Google Drive directly. You can paste text if you have that available. You can also link to a website. I'm going to choose file just to show you how you can import. And I'm going to choose a paper that I have here. And then it's just processing this paper. And then it gives you this nice window here with some options. So it tells you, you can generate a fact, you can generate a study guide, a table of contents, timeline, briefing doc. Those are some of the standard ways on how you can interact with the document, or you can use an LLM to generate these to understand better what that document is about. It gives you even a summary of what the document is. In this case, this paper is talking about meta prompting. And then it has this new feature here, audio overview. And you can hit generate here. I'm gonna hit generate. It says generating this audio. It says this may take a few minutes, no need to stick around. It's finally showing that it's finalized. It takes a couple of minutes to generate this and we can actually listen to it. All right, buckle up, because today we're diving into the world of metaprompting. It's a radical new approach to AI, and it has the potential to completely revolutionize how these systems learn and solve problems. What's really exciting here is that we're moving beyond simply cramming AI full of data. We're talking about a fundamental shift in how AI, like, thinks. Okay, so let's unpack that. We're diving deep into a research paper. It's called Meta Prompting for AI Systems. And it sounds like it's a pretty big deal. It's a seismic shift. Think about it this way. Traditionally, we've used a uh, few shot prompting to teach AI. 
Essentially, we bombard it with tons of examples, hoping it picks up on patterns. Right, kind of like showing a kid a million pictures of cats to teach them what a cat is. Exactly, but sometimes. Just like kids might just memorize those pictures without really understanding what makes a cat a cat. AI can sometimes just get really good at mimicking. They're not really, you know, reasoning. They're not thinking critically about those furry, four-legged creatures that love to push things off counters. Precisely. And that's where metal prompting comes in. Instead of showing the AI a million cat pictures, we're giving it the tools to understand the underlying principles. We're teaching it to think like a biologist who can identify a cat based on its features and behaviors, not just a memorized image. So we're going beyond surface level learning. All right, that was pretty cool, right? It provides an audio overview of the actual paper. It's not going through the paper and reading it. No, it's an overview of it. And it's having a conversation. These two persons are having a conversation about what the concept is and they're explaining it. And it's very easy to understand. And I think this is really the selling point with Notebook LM. This is a really awesome feature. I can see myself using this and just listening to notes and so on. I can also download this and I can change the playback speed as well. That's really, really cool. And you can also interact with the document. Okay, you can ask it a question. What is meta prompting about? The responses that you're getting, you can rate them. Notice that the outputs also have the citations, which is really cool because now you can go directly to where specific things were mentioned. You see that this one is extracted from here. The format is not perfect, but I think this is still very cool to see that. All right, so now we have the answer to the question here. So we get all of this. And again, we can click on the links so we know where that particular summary came from. So we can double check and verify that it is the case that it came from the paper and it's not making things up. And one thing we can do here is we can save this. So save to note. And then what this does is going to save a new note based on the responses that it sent. You can see here and you can only view them. You cannot really change it, but you can also create your own note as well as you continue to do more research around your documents. That's really powerful, I think, to be able to use language models this way to give you a completely new experience from what we're getting from things like ChatGPT and so on. I think this is a really cool application of language models and I just wanted to show you a bit on how it works and why this is exciting and why everyone is talking about it. So do give it a try and let me know in the comments if this is something that's interesting. We can also do a deeper dive using for all sorts of things. One more thing I want to show you here is that when you do a new notebook, you can also link a website. I'm going to link a website here. I think this is really nice, right? Because then sometimes you'd have like information or sources or documentation like on a website and you would like to kind of use that. And so you want to just like import that. And so I can insert it. And so it's importing it. Again, I could do the audio overview here or I could ask it some questions that are suggested. I'll just pick one of these. What are the key concepts and techniques involved in prompt engineering for LMs? I'm going to pick that one. Okay, it's going to answer the question based on that resource that I gave it and I can double check that. So for instance, let me see here, improving LLM safety. I'm going to hit on two here and you can see that it basically scrape our entire prompt engineering guide. And of course, I know this because this is a site that I built. And so that's really cool to see. That'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I will see you all on the next one.